Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I think it's very um, pretty card. Do a male or a female. Um, my mum in the early ages of her dementia used to like watching the birds in the garden. Always asking us what they were and we didn't know. So my sister bought her a bird book. And she was dead pleased when she could name the birds. So, to make this card, you and I used um, a card base, a white card base of eight and a quarter and five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and folded in half, and two pieces of white card stock at. Three, Three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. This card, the bird is raised, and I'm going to make one where it's raised, like that, and then one where the bird is flat. So I'm going to be making two cards today. So to do that, you will need a piece of copier paper size of your card so that's three and three three and seven eighths by five and five eighths with I've cut an oval out but you could use any other um, background stamp you want and I've stuck it on this piece of card already stamp set I'm using I'm using hardwood for the background and humming along for the bird and the sentiment so the first thing we want to do is stamp. This is the flat one. So we're going to stamp the bird in the middle of the oval. And stamp that there. You'll also need a scrap of white to, if you're having your bird raised, you're going to put it on dimensionals. So you'll need to stamp a separate bird if you're going to have a raised one. So we'll do that there. Clean my stamp and the cloth's not very wet so I should cheat here and just spray some stamp cleaner on it. in the um, block as well. There we are, one nice clean stamp. We'll cover the ink for now because we don't want to put the sentiment on yet. All right, if you're having it flat you'll need a mask to cover the bird. And then we need our background stamp, which I've already mounted, and I'm using soft suede. Ink that up. Only have to ink the middle up really. Get a scrap of paper. Just quickly just take off the top coat and place that on and then give it a good rub 
and make sure you rub it well around the edge of your oval or your shape, whatever shape you're putting on and round the bird To make the one that's raised, we'll take this off and pop it on another piece of card. I want it completely ink up again quickly just run just take the top ink off and do this again plain oval and the one with your bird inside so it's flat. And now we'll colour this bird in. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that no more. I have got my new box of pens. Can't get a lid off. Right, for this, to colour this in, which I need to put this over there, out the way, that's it. Alright, on this bird, I got this the colours mainly out of um, off the internet. I was looking to see what colour hummingbirds were, and I was quite surprised that there's so many different colours of them. So we are going to use all these colours. I've got light and dark night and navy. Light and dark smoky slate, light granny apple green, and light daffodil delight. And we also need our colour lifter. So, what I did with the bullet end of the pen and the light and navy dark, I just coloured the tips of his feathers in. Just a little, not a lot. Just right round the tips of his feathers and put some blue. And then the dark, 
on the bullet end again I just added a bit of dark grey Also did grey round the layers of feathers. Just a little bit. And then I just followed the lines with some dark grey. And I did the tip of his beak grey. Old dark smoky slate. Right, with the light smoky slate and the brush end, I just coloured it all in. Then with the light, light and navy, I did his head. with the light smoky slate and the bullet end I just went round the outside of his head just followed the lines round round his eyes and then with The light pumpkin pie, yeah, light pumpkin pie. Oh. I did his beak. Right for his belly, I just did a squiggle of yellow in the middle. Daffodil delight that was. And then the rest of it I filled in with granny apple green. And with my colour lifter, I just went round all where I used two colours and blended them in a bit.
take some of the dark off. And I also just went round the yellow or daffodil delight and the granny apple green and just blended that in a bit. And then I went round the grey, round the face of it, and blended that in a bit with the white. And that's it. That's how I coloured my bird in. lid back on this right and then I did exactly the same with this one cut it out and that will go on there so you'll have a nice flat one and then this one will go on dimensionals pop some dimensionals on it someone commented in my um, on one of my cards I did that I use far too many dimensionals and I do I admit I do But I like using them. I think it makes my card stick. Right, I need a tiny bit for his beak. So I shall just cut a bit off the edge. Place that on its beak. That's good. Right. Take the back ends off. Place that just there. All right, and now for the sentiment. Make sure it's straight on my block. Ink. Now, when I'm using the marker pens or the blends, I always use Memento Tuxedo Black. Uh, I think Ruth asked me what ink I used to stop it, stop the blends from leaking or bleeding. And I'll just pop the sentiment, wishing you an amazing birthday. And I hope it's straight. That'll do fine. And again with this one. Clean my stump on, put my ink away, and that is us done. So we just need our card bases 
and our glue. So I'll cut this, the insides. Oh no, I've just ruined that. I'll fix that afterwards. I've smudged the black ink. Should get the rubber on it afterwards. So there you have it. Same stamps, but a different outcome. One raised bird and one flat bird. And that's the one I made earlier. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and hope to see you again soon. Bye.